This is how you catch a fish with your hands. Dude, it's a hole. I can feel it. You feel the fish? Dude, you are brave to be sticking your arm in there. I'm just gonna let you know right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. With my hands. What's up, people? I'm actually here with my boy first day right there, and then my buddy Ada Fishing right here. And we actually came together and we have a little giveaway for you guys. What we've got today for you guys is we've got some Cinco's green pumpkin color. We've got a frog, everybody loves frog fishing, and we've got some drop shot baits. And for the lucky winner, we have also got some crawfish, some worms, and a nice little pond magic spinner bait. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do, be subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button. Also, subscribe to First State, hit his notification bell, and then subscribe to my boy Ada. Hit his notification bell, and then we'll pick a lucky winner. By the way, if you guys are wondering about the iPhone fishing lure giveaway winner for the reel, I'll pop the winner up on the screen right now. Congratulations, DM me on my personal Instagram at Noah Pescatelli, and I'll get it out to you, but yeah. Also, if you would like, comment down below some video suggestions. Let's hop into this. All right, boys, we're gonna be starting off with the Quake today. I, can't, I don't know exactly what this color is, but it looks pretty fire. The sun was up a second ago. I don't know if this is gonna be the best color for it. Um, my boy, first state over there, he actually has one that's gonna look pretty good in these cloudy conditions. A-Dub's throwing a chatter donk, and we're gonna see if we can catch a big one today. I haven't been here in so long, guys. I haven't fished in Savannah in, I think, six weeks, maybe seven weeks. So I'm very excited to get out here and uh, see if we can catch some fish. The conditions are phenomenal today. Um, I just hope the fish are going to bite. we got a storm blowing in tonight, so the pressure's dropping. The wind's whipping in. It should be good. Let's cover some water, catch some giants. I can't believe there's not one in this canal with this wind blowing. There's always some, oh, there he is. Oh my God, I jerked the rod out of my hand. What the, what? That actually felt like a good one. What in the world? Maybe they're gonna bite like crazy today, bro. Dude, that, I'm serious, my rod about came out of my hand right there. He just went, <laughs> oh, dude, what? Oh, what? <laughs> bro i'm not lying no dude they're loaded they're loaded. <laughs> first they gonna get his rod jerk out of his hand in a minute he's gonna see what i'm talking about dude they're hammering it dude i'm not even kidding you right now the water's a little stained cloudy adam there's a fish on bed bro there's a fish on bed right here watch this No. Yep, and he just swam off of it. He's really small. Oh. Baby. Baby. That's well, first fish today, so I mean, that's something, right? Okay, well, first fish today, not exactly what we want, but you know what? Like I always say, you gotta get the monkey off your back and then you go catch the giant. So, good little start. Little baby guy. Thank you for biting, bud. See ya, Jim. See ya, Jimbo. Yeah, he's a, he's a huge, dude, him, he bro. came off, oh, no. he came off. That was such a dude. big fish, dude. Literally came off. What the heck? Dude, that, you're freaking horrible. How did he come off? Did you see him pulling my drag? Yeah, I bet pulling. you that was a trophy, bro. You look at, how, look how tight my drag is. Dude, your whole, the fish went like this. You can even move. Yeah, I know. 
I mean, I don't even know how, like, he came off. Like, I wasn't even reeling him. Like, I was just letting him do his thing. I, I think he just got it in his mouth a certain way to where it just, like, he could get it out. Because he moved from that pipe all the way over there like that. Heck no, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't touch him. That, was, that might have been a 10. We upgraded to the Quake 80. This is a mega trap. This is like twice the size of the one I was throwing before. We got it in red. I just want to see. Going for a big one. Oh my God, this thing feels so large on the rod. I just want to catch a freaking giant. After Adam lost that fish, they're in here. We just got to get them to bite. And it's been really, really weird. Small ones aren't even biting, but he got that big one to bite. So it's definitely a possibility. Just got to keep covering. See if we can hook a good one. Should be one right. Yeah. Right there. He ain't even big on this massive trap. What in the world? This is the smallest fish I could have ever caught on this thing. Look how big that trap is compared to that fish. Well, that is not what you want to catch on a freaking massive quake. That fish splashed me so much in the face. Oh, one just swam off right here. Look at that massive wake. That's why I was trying to walk around. Freaking massive one. The fish was just like literally up here in the shallows. Oh gosh, no, no, no. Look at the freaking wake. That was a four pounder. I freaking saw him right there. He had it, I had him in the side of the face. No. No, that was a freaking four pounder, guys. Golly, I had him in the side of the head, and that's why it was like running really weird. I didn't, even, it was like I knew I got hit, but I didn't think he had it. It's just because I had him in the side of the face and he was going sideways, and he just like twisted his body. That was a four pounder. That's aggravating, that's so aggravating. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, that's a five pounder! <laughs> he hit it right at the bank, he choked it! Oh my god! What? What? Dude, that's a five pounder, bro! He ate it right at the bank! Oh my gosh! Dude, that is the biggest freaking football of a bass. Look at him, how he choked that freaking thing. Look at that right there. <laughs> that's a five pounder. Oh my God. Right there, guys. That's a beautiful, beautiful five pound bass. We're gonna get a weight on her. The fish is so freaking dense. This is a fat fish. So close. 489, bro. 489. He's so close basically, to five. Basically a five. 489, bro. Yep. That's five pounder. We'll call her a five. Dude, that is awesome. After losing fish, after Adam lost that one, I lost another like four. This fish freaking ate that giant quake. I have yet to experiment with the big quakes yet. And I'm almost thinking that, that that might be the ticket to the big bass. I mean, I was, I accidentally ordered a lot of the bigger ones instead of the seventies. I ordered the eighties on accident, but you know what? If it produces fish like that, you cannot complain. Let's get this bad boy back in the water. That is a thick five pound bass, freaking football. All right guys, 489, <laughs> be careful. Yeah, on the Dude, look how fat he is. That's, that's what you call a fat pre-spawn bass right there. Beautiful fish. She ate it right at the bank. He couldn't have been eating a better way. There she goes. Wow. That is awesome right there, Adam. That's, that's, that's the first, you know, Kind of a little breaking point after me and you both lost a pretty good fish. Yours was a giant though. And, you, and the people online are already gonna talk smack. Oh, but yeah, it's not a big But thing. you know, it, 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 the way a fish runs, we've guys, we've caught so many fish. You can go on my channel, it's just verified that are eight plus in the last if, year. If everybody went onto my channel and watched my video of the fish fighting, they would know that. No, we're gonna, we're gonna show it. I wanna show the people. Well, I want to show it ripping your drag. It's just, crazy. I mean, just so they see it. stripping the drag out of my reel. And like, I have a very tight drag. Very, very tight drag. Let's just keep going, bro. I mean, we gotta catch We're gonna get big it. Ones. We're gonna go back to that first place too because I think the red quake, I think it's gonna get it done. Plus the big one, I think it's gonna entice the big fish. Let's keep fishing. Let's get it. Oh, 
there he is. Gosh, solid two pounder. Look at that, freaking the big quake. Freaking hammered that thing, look at that. Just came to a new spot. Haven't been here in a very long time. You guys probably haven't seen this place in like, heck I'd say. I'm gonna be honest, I think I've came to this place one time in the last, two times maybe in the last year. I just have not been back here. Place you usually don't catch too many, but there's some good fish here. You just gotta keep covering water. It's kind of hit or miss, honestly. But I have not been here in a long time. I am trying to get the pliers out. This is hard. We're gonna keep on fishing. A little two pounder, that ain't bad. We're gonna toss him back in the water. I'm not gonna walk on that. It's gonna destroy freaking shoes. There you go. All right. Big quake getting it done. Let me see. It's actually pretty far out there. All right. That's what we're going to do. This line's kind of frayed right here. It might be your eyelid, bro. You can send it down there, but it's just like, it's actually really far down there. There we go. Now we're talking. Yep. Feels like a really big fish. Look at this. Golly. I can't really get a good look. He might be like four pounds. I can't tell though. Feels freaking three pounder. Gosh. Okay. Oh, he ain't even quite three. Freaking. Oh, look at him pissing. Pissing all over me. Gosh, stop pissing, boy. Hey. Stop pissing, boy. I'll put a diaper on you. Look at him. Look at him squirting. Whoo. Gap. Look at this. Look at this. Jimmy. Jimmy, you dirty boy. That's a beautiful fish, though. I will take him. He ate it all the way over there. I felt I felt that cast. I felt, that cast felt felt like he was going to catch one. It freaking did. Let's see if there's another one on that bank. We just got out to the new area that we're fishing. We have been... It, it's been a grind today, guys. It's really been a grind. I mean, it has not been easy. We've been going to a bunch of places. I think I've caught, like, five, maybe um we've been fishing all day i think first state's only got one and adam has only got like one fish today too it's just been tough adam lost that big one that just sucked but yeah we're gonna keep on chucking no -uh. oh my gosh there's no way we just got here we just got here this pond's not easy either that is a small one for this big oh my gosh okay right off the bat maybe that's a good sign we got this storm blowing in right now it was just raining a second ago Maybe that's going to help. Wow, that is a cold bass right there. He's right off the bat, bro. I was just talking to the camera and freaking right away. Well, I think that's my sixth fish today. I guess we were just talking about it. Maybe they're going to bite in here. This place is like the hardest pond that I know of around here. But the thing is, there's a bunch of good fish if you can get on them. But it's actually very tough. So maybe they'll bite today. Maybe, maybe this weather is going to help make the bite a lot better. There he is. Smaller one. Oh my gosh, why, what is up with that? So I tried something different. This place, you really got to try to figure them out and how they want it. And that was a straight steady retrieve. I was throwing it off on the drop off of this flat. That was a steady retrieve, but I did let the trap sink and hit the bottom and then give it a steady retrieve, but that is a small guy. That's not what we want. We're gonna have to keep weaving through them maybe. We're at another spot yet again. I just, today has been one of them days, man. Really having to jump around, spending a ton of time fishing. We've been fishing like freaking past eight hours, um, tying on a big hybrid jig. And we're gonna get it started. We're at the place where I ended up catching like two seven pounders. Oh, oh, no. How am I gonna get them? This bank's not flat. Oh, he's not 10, but he's a giant. <laughs> Open to catch just a mega Adam swim, a big swim bait. We got first state throwing like a chatter bait. So you got to beam it all the way, like right where I just landed. 
I got one already. Oh, it came off. That's something that you got to get. What the heck was that? That was a fish. You think he stole my trailer? He stole my trailer. <laughs> Look at. Did he still? No, he didn't. No, but he was it a bass? <laughs> right there, dude. dude what was that? that? What was that? that freaking... What was that? What is that? Is... Fish. There's. It is not a fish. Dude, we gotta go over there. No, uh Is it a mudfish? No, uh Are you serious? What is it? I saw. What is that? You spooked all this fish. What is that? Where's the creek at? Where's the creek? Where did it go? Oh my god, did you hear that? I don't know, I like heard something. Oh no, I see it. It's right here. I think it's a fish, I think. Wait, maybe, is that it? Yeah, dude, it is. Come here. Dude, come here. No, like, for real, come here. Come here, I'm going to grab it. Yeah, come here. Dude, there's a fish right here. Yes. Look, he's right there. Hold on, bro. I can't see. How'd you get around this? I don't know. I got over here somehow. See his tail? Oh, I'm sinking, bro. You see his tail? Where? Right there. See where that stick is? Oh, my. That's a fish. I touched it. It's a fish. I touch it with my rod. I can grab it. Guys, this is how you multitask. This is how you catch a fish with your hands. What is it? Oh, oh it's a snakehead. You see? I don't want him to go in there. He's so slippery. <gasps> no. Oh, he might can go through the hole. Oh my God. Dude, what if he turns around and bites me, dude? He ain't gonna bite you. Oh my god. Dude, it's a hole. I can feel it. You feel the fish? Oh. Oh my god. He's in there. Dude, Adam's all to grab this. He, he dug himself in a hole. Are you yes. Dude, I don't. Do you feel him? Dude, the hole comes out somewhere. Dude, this is a freaking huge hole. Dude, you might have went back into the water. Dude, you are brave to be sticking your arm in there. I'm just gonna let you know right now. No, he's under where your knee is in front of you, I no, think. Not. No, I felt his tail right there. I grabbed him again. He's so slippery, I can't pull him out. Oh, so he's right there. No, I, don't, I can't feel him anymore. The hole comes out into the actual pond. Are you gonna stick your hand back in it? If I can find the hole. Did you see his tail though? That's a snakehead. It was a snakehead. I got him. You got him. I can feel his tail. What, he stick his head back around? Nuh-uh. -uh. You actually have him in your hand. Oh my God, he's so slippery, dude. He just moved again. You're gonna use two hands? Don't let him get away. <laughs> Yo, Mike, can you bring the pliers over here? Oh, I got him. I got some. Wait, some. no, I did leave him over there. I did leave him. I'm slowly pulling him out. Dude, I, I think I actually got him this time. You got him? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my fish, dude! With my hands! I stuck my whole entire arm in the ground, okay? Could have got bit by an alligator, snapping turtle, whatever that thing was, could have bit me. But you know what? I had to save that fish, so. Guys, that was the craziest thing I have ever witnessed. Adam literally stuck his hand all the way in that hole. That was very ballsy and pulled that thing out. 
But this, this is what you guys need to do. He's posting the full video on it tomorrow. So make sure you go show him some love. Don't let this crap flop. Go subscribe to his channel. Go turn the post notification bells on. I was feeling around inside. I was just scared to death. I was going to get like eaten by an alligator or something. Dude, that was crazy. That, that was really the craziest thing I've ever like seen. I'm surprised you actually did it because that was kind of ballsy. Yeah, but once your arm was already in there, you're like, I might as well get it. I just knew I had to do it for the people, man. So you got to go over there. You got to watch the video. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one.